Hi Patrick, it's Ken again. Um, this is my crew chief walking around showing the finished cleanup from uh, yesterday, Monday, the 2nd of November, 2020. As you can see, all of the weeds have been completely removed from the flower beds. If you look on the ground, you can see that, uh, sorry for the shadows, that we've turned the soil in preparation for the mulch. This particular area, which runs along the frontage road, as you can see, um, we will probably not place mulch in these beds uh, unless we have enough with, uh, with the 15 yards. Uh, but as you can see, we've cut a trench in the ground and um, which allows the, uh, the full uh, weight of the mulch to you know, seat properly. Uh, we've also, of course, trimmed the bushes down. Now we come up on this particular bed where we removed all of the debris. And as you can see, um, there's almost no plants because all of them were dead. So we, of course, need to, uh, to replace those plants, as we will. Uh, crossing here, you see another island uh, that lost a lot of uh, plants and stuff. You saw the previous video and how full... Uh, <clears throat> those beds were with with debris sort of a boring video here just walking down the perimeter to kind of show you the uh, finished product you notice we just passed those stakes um, uh, each one of those trees has stakes in the ground maybe we should contract with you to remove those stakes because you don't need them anymore uh, after this long and what I would like to say is it was just as simple as you move them back and forth and pull them up. Let me just say this, that it's not that simple. But we can talk about that some other time. That's not pressing. Here again, we have another sign surrounded by a bed where we had a lot of dead plants. Uh, I think it turned out really, really well. I mean, in theory, you could do nothing, uh, not pay any more money, and then... Um, you could, you know, you could, it'd still look good. Uh, the thing is, though, what you can't really see because it's getting late in the day and you see the shadow, is the actual color of the ground. The color of the ground is very light uh, colored um, and, you know, doesn't really do well. It's showing the, uh, you know, what, you know, you, you want your soil to be black or dark, and it's not. It's mostly old mulch. Um, so here we are at the corner, rounding the corner. This is the principal bed, the more vi the most visible bed. You can see it doesn't look so bad, at least not from this video. However, uh, there's a lot of dead plants and a lot of space that we're going to fill with some uh, other type of very colorful um, uh, perennials. And we're still walking around the corner. We're getting down the entire perimeter, getting closer to the uh, other side. Again, here's the outback sign. No, vi you know, two, three viable plants left alive in that location. And keep walking. So that basically is going to conclude it. Uh, as he gets over here to this corner, you can see that uh, uh, it's still done. What I find interesting is the, the crop circles. Uh, that that the previous crew left you can see them just as you walk by in the grass itself where they they uh, what we call gave a crew cut to the grass so not a good thing uh, we cleaned up everything as well so listen uh, thank you so much for the work and um, I'll send this to you shortly and uh, I just wanted to give you an idea of what we did and what it uh, what the results are. Uh, there's a couple of more here. I think he's going to walk around. See, here's another entrance bed, which will be full of perennials uh, before we're done. Another sign that uh, needs um, needs some plants.